bean room. As you can see, we have a lot of raw coffee. Each one of these bags is about 150 pounds a piece. Um, and we have over 300. Sometimes we get up to like 425 is probably the max that we can fit in here. Um, but it'll go all the way to the ceiling if, if we can be strong enough to lift it that high. per batch. Every bean loses about 30% of its weight when it's being roasted, so we get out even less. Put the coffee in the bottom, and it acts as a vacuum, and it slowly levitates the beans up this shaft. Anything that's not the exact same size, shape, weight, and density will stay at the bottom, and then the coffee ends up in here. So basically, when we buy from little teeny tiny farmers, they, it's not that they intend to get little pebbles and stuff in their coffee, they just, it accidentally happens and they don't have the equipment to get it out. The bigger corporations and the bigger um, coffee mills and so forth do have like infrared technology to get out any little imperfections and our little farmers don't. We love buying from our little farmers and so it was worth it for us to invest in this de-stoner. So your grinder will never have a stone in it. Coffee is what we definitely roast the most of. Um, we probably have five different recipes for it. Uh, we roast it for on one recipe and it goes in your espresso. And then we roast it on a different recipe and it actually is your Heaven's Blend, which is one of our best selling coffees. Which is not a blend at all, it's actually just a single origin estate Brazilian coffee. Our actual best selling coffee overall of everything that we make though is Dad's Blend. Um, that one is really flavorful, really complex. You got three different beans, all roasted totally different. You get a really, really dark roast Costa Rican, a light roast Mexican, and a medium roast Sumatran. And we roast them all separate, blend them together, and they actually look different shades of brown when you open up the bag. Get asked, love, what's the difference between light roast and dark roast, and which one has more caffeine? Oh, big misconception. So the lighter the roast, the more caffeine. The reason is um, the longer that I roast it, the more the um, caffeine and the antioxidants and everything inside the bean actually cooks away. It's kind of like vegetables. Um, the longer that you cook them, the more the nutrients all cook away. Same thing with coffee. The healthiest uh, vegetable is a raw one. The most caffeinated coffee bean is a raw one as well. The difference between light and dark is not just that one is roasted longer than the other, um, but that the temperature gets higher and it just ends up tasting like a much stronger, darker roast. Um, but coffee does this pretty unique thing. It actually puts off a gas for about two weeks after it's been roasted and it's going to put off most of that gas within the first like few days. So personally, I think that the absolute best tasting coffee is about two or three days after it's been roasted. It tastes phenomenal for about, I think, three months. Mm -hmm. And um, it's pretty hard because coffee doesn't actually spoil. So a lot of times you'll see expiration dates that are a year and a half out. And, um, you know, it's everyone's own opinion, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But I think coffee is definitely better fresher. Mm -hmm.